Oh, yeah, man. Oh, not right? Okay. There we go. All right, how are you doing today? Hello, John. Uh, Very nice of you to nice do this with me. No problem. What was your name again? For, for My name one? is Mary Salinas. S-A-L-I-N-A-S. -S, like Salinas, California. Nice, nice. Um, I guess that you wanted to talk a little bit about the homeless situation and stuff. Yes. Did, um, are you involved with it in Eugene? or? Um... I worked in Colorado for about 10 years for the homeless and now I've been here for four years and I've been working for the homeless here for four years. I've spoken to city council and city council. I've spoken to every official in the city and I've been arrested here and I have uh, held signs and I have done everything that I ever can imagine to do for the homeless. What, what kind of things could the people in Eugene like be involved with like to help people if they were on the streets? Um... Well, I'll tell you what I want. I want disability checks for the homeless. I don't want to talk about if you're an alcoholic. I don't want to any of that. I want if you're on the streets for a certain amount of time, you get a disability check. And it's there's already a thing called chronically homeless. Chronically homeless is a legal term. So I just went a little notch over this way, a little notch, and it's called disability checks for the homeless. You would not have to have any new offices, no new anything, no NGOs. And then we get food stamps and medical zip. It's all you see. It would be so simple. So I'm dedicating my life to bringing the homeless in. I'm not trying to save them. I'm not trying to heal them. I'm not going to educate them. I want them to be treated like human beings, and I want them just go out and get whatever apartment they can find, just like everybody else. Um, well, um, what? So what? What? What steps? I mean. Um... Do you have any plans on um, doing anything in, in Eugene towards that, or? Well, I'll tell you, uh, this winter when Occupy Eugene happened, and the homeless for some reason gathered here in Eugene, and the world actually watched Eugene and homelessness for a little while, I was thrilled all through my heart because it was the most I've heard the homeless spoken about. You know, they were in the news. There were people, and this next. City council meeting here in Alamo, in Grand Junction, uh, Eugene, I'm sorry, that's the past, Eugene, uh, will be uh, about homelessness. There are going to be a lot of people there on the 25th, I think, and we're all going to be there speaking about the homeless. And it thrills me because I'm used to being a lone wolf, a lone voice, always. And now I love it that there are so many other people working for the homeless, and they're trying to get um, opportunity. They're trying to get the village opportunity. Eugene. So they might get opportunity to Eugene Cooney. And so things are in the works, people are trying. But me, I'm not trying, I'm dying. I'm dying for what I'm doing. Like physically or literally? Willing to. Willing to. My life's been threatened, I've been arrested a couple times, uh, my jobs have been threatened, uh, on and on. But I decided when I became homeless and I saw what was happening to the homeless, it's going to sound strange, I know, but I rode my bike and I thought day after day, what can I do? This can't be real. This can't be real. I was shocked. And I thought, Mary, 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 you might, I might be able to do it because I'm free, white, and 21. I'm educated, got all my teeth, blah, blah, blah. And this society is so shut down, <coughs> you know, but if you're different in the slightest bit, you sort of discounted. So here I am. You see who I am? I try very hard to present myself in a way that people will listen to me. It's all I want is to be listened to. And I want victory. <laughs> I want victory. That's all I really want. I'm bringing them in. It's inhumane. What's happening is inhumane. Okay. I'm sorry, John. Go ahead. I'm 